Good morning, night, evening, everyone, and welcome to another science video. This is the last video of the series covering the four Earth spheres. Today, we're going to discuss the biosphere and the atmosphere. We'll start with the biosphere. The biosphere includes all the life. Easy. All the plants, animals, and microorganisms. The different sections of the biosphere are grouped into six what are called kingdoms. Plants, animals, eubacteria, archaebacteria, fungi, and protists. Distinguishing factors of plants are that they contain chlorophyll, they're photosynthetic, they have cells with cell walls, and they are split into two groups, flower-bearing and non-flower-bearing. Animals are the most complex organisms within the biosphere of Earth. They are multicellular and eat other organisms to survive. They have nervous systems and are split into two groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates having backbones and invertebrates not having backbones. Eubacteria are bacteria without nuclei. They make up the majority of the bacteria on Earth. There are more species of bacteria than any other species of organism on Earth. Archaebacteria are bacteria with internal membranes, and they are often found in extreme environments. Fungi are motionless organisms that absorb nutrients to survive. Protists are mainly single-celled organisms with nuclei. They are usually found in water, and they can be either mobile or stationary. A subsphere of the biosphere is the anthrosphere, which includes all of the humans. Biomes are the ecological communities of the biosphere. Grasslands, deserts, rainfall are some examples. Some biomes are so big that they are visible from space. Some problems within the biosphere are eutrophication, extinction, mutation, which is incorrect copies of genetic material, which actually is a cause of cancer, and humans. Humans cause things like forest fires, radiation from chemical waste, deforestation, and our construction can damage ecosystems. Now it's time to move on to the atmosphere. The atmosphere contains all of the gaseous matter of Earth. All the air, carbon dioxide, oxygen, ozone, etc, etc, etc. The different layers, starting from the bottom, is the troposphere, the one that we exist in, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, and the thermosphere, which is the highest. The composition of the atmosphere is 79% nitrogen, less than 21% oxygen, and less than 1% of other gases. Now we're going to talk about the ozone. The ozone, chemical symbol O3, protects the biosphere from harmful radiation from the sun, such as gamma rays, x-rays, and UV rays. In the 1970s, aerosols that were put into the air would deplete the ozone by changing the chemical bonds in which that the ozone would form. This contributed to global warming. It's important that we protect our ozone because otherwise we would die from radiation from the sun. Some problems that exist within the atmosphere are acid rain. Acid rain occurs when sulfur dioxide from volcanoes and human exhaust mixes with water and clouds to form sulfuric acid that, when it rains, causes serious damage to the surface. Smog is another one, which is dense air pollution, making air unbreathable or difficult to breathe. And also, ozone depletion, which we discussed already. What have we learned about today? Well, in the biosphere, we learned about the six kingdoms, and specific details about each of the kingdoms. The anthrosphere, biomes, and problems within the biosphere. In the atmosphere, we learned about the different layers, the chemical composition, the ozone layer, and problems within the atmosphere. Well, it's been a fun series to make, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment down in the comments section, and I will get to you directly. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out the rest of the series, because it's quite entertaining and informative. I hope you all have a nice night. Goodbye!